welcome dear student on my channel today we'll do the practical of structure and distribution of the stomata by using beetle leaf so here in this experiment we need for the practical one beetle leaf which is of the medium size this is a dicotyledonous leaf what we find on the upper side of this it is a we find a lighter color so on the upper surface we find a very less number of the stomata and on the lower side we see the maximum number of the stomata now this one leaf as well as one slide we required one cover slip another slide another cover slip as well as we need the water or if it is required the glycerin then forcep then we need the blade needle we need the cover slip we need the brush so these are the requirements are there for doing the practical first we'll take the drop of water on one of the slide also on the other slide now you have to hold the leaf in a such a way that upper epidermis will be on the upper side so you just have to pull this leaf tear the leaf and pull it towards you so what comes in your right hand that is the upper epidermis and what comes in the your left hand that is the lower epidermis so here we can see clearly the lower epidermis epidermal layer is there you can clearly observe in this upper epidermis will do afterward now first we'll take the lower epidermis as we got the very nice clear epidermal layer which is the lower epidermis so we'll keep this on the slide in a drop of water just cut the portion which is a uh, easily recognize so this portion will cut it and will keep it on the slide now the other leaf will take other part of the leaf will take and we'll try to get the upper epidermis now to get the upper epidermis little bit difficult you have to try two or three times now again i will try so for upper epidermis you have to do it clear carefully yes now in the upper epidermis also we got one layer which is a very thin single layer of epidermis which is of upper epidermis same way we'll cut the portion where we can find a single layer and that portion will keep it in the drop of water so here we got upper epidermis as well as lower epidermis now lower epidermis upper epidermis both are ready now what we have to do first we'll see the lower epidermis we'll put the drop of water on it and then the cover slip slowly we have to touch the cover slip from one side to the water and from the lower side we put the needle slowly you have to release the needle so that the cover slip will come down and there will not be any air bubble suppose if any air is present we just have to put a drop of water or the drop of glycerin afterward now this slide is ready for the lower epidermis whatever the excess of water is there or the glycerin is there that will remove with the help of the filter paper so that your slide will be neat and clean just check whether your epidermal portion is at the center of the your slide at the center of cover slip now we'll take the another slide where the upper epidermis is ready we'll put the drop of water we'll try to take it at the center of the slide same way we would put the cover slip touch the cover slip on one side to the water put the needle on the lower side slowly release that cover slip so that there will not be any air bubble again whatever the air is present at the margin we'll put the drop of water or the glycerin again excess of water glycerin will remove from here so that our slide will be neat and clean now this slide also will watch under the compound microscope now first we'll see the lower epidermis now very important thing to adjust the microscope this we are watching under compound microscope under 10x power so the distance between the objective and the your slide should be of one finger approximately see the source of the light it should be of the concave mirror get the maximum source of the light through the diaphragm 
now try to watch it clearly objective and your ip should be in the same line source of light should be maximum if it is more we can reduce with the help of the diaphragm clip now we'll watch it carefully we'll reduce the source of light so that we can get the clear idea about the stomata present on the lower epidermis now we'll fix the position of the slide so that it will not get disturbed now yes it is clear now so we'll watch through the eyepiece now see the distance between the objective and the your slide now through the eyepiece what we observe here all small grain like structures are there this all are the stomata and along with this we find something blackish color that is air bubble the air which is a uh, release by the stomata during the transpiration the stomata which can easily observe maximum number of the stomata as a present on the lower epidermis this is a speciality about the dicotyledonous plants now we'll take the we'll remove the first slide now we'll take the another slide which is a uh, of upper epidermis so same way we'll adjust it under objective under 10x power try to get the rough idea about the epidermal layer now fix the position again adjust the source of the light if light is maximum you have to reduce it now we'll watch through the ips again check the distance between the slide and the objective it should be approximately one finger now through the ips which is of 10x power we can watch it here clearly so the upper epidermis is there where we find rarely stomata so all what are the cells are there where we don't find the stomata if it is present rarely it is present it is because to reduce the loss of water to reduce the transpiration of don't show stomata or very rare stomata as a present so here you can observe that no stomata or rarely one or two stomata are here so this way we can get the clear image of upper epidermis to get the clear image about the upper as well as the lower epidermis important thing is that you have to adjust the microscope properly for getting the clear idea how to adjust the microscope one video which i have uploaded i will share the link in below in the description box okay thank you if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends